studying Othello? Here's how you can analyze that one scene one. The stage directions open by indicating to us that a nobleman called Rodrigo and a captain called Iago are arguing in Venice. We find out that Rodrigo, who's been paying Iago large sums of money, has found something out which he's really outraged about. Rodrigo and Iago are speaking about somebody that they both hate and it's not yet clear to us who they are. However, Iago states that he's on Rodrigo's side and he speaks using Cezuro to say that this person who they're plotting against, Iago hates him because he hasn't promoted him. We learned that Iago was passed over for promotion to be a lieutenant in favor of a man called Michael Cassio. Iago is furious because Cassio got this promotion, however, he is inexperienced in the battlefield. Iago grows more enraged as he speaks and he confirms that he's now been left to work as a captain for a Moor. Remember, a Moor is somebody who is of African descent, specifically from North Africa. Iago then reassures Rodrigo that he has got his back and he speaks in repetition to say that he is plotting against this Moor and this is going to be to Rodrigo's advantage. It's clear that Iago is really jealous of his boss's position. Remember that his boss is a general and he speaks using Cezura to juxtapose the word more and Iago to say that he deserves to even be in a higher social position than he currently is. Iago then speaks using repetition here to say that he is going to pretend like he's a good person to this boss. However, he is going to betray him. Iago then speaks in this imperative sentence to instruct Rodrigo to wake up a woman's father. Rodrigo then shouts using these exclamatory sentences and we can see here he seems somewhat foolish. We as the audience still are not entirely sure what's happening so at this stage it seems quite comedic what's happening. A man called Brabantio is being woken up in the middle of the night by these two men. Iago, who's hidden, then speaks using oxymoron hair. He speaks using very derogatory racist language to tell Brabantio that his daughter is sleeping with the Moor. And now we start to realize that this daughter is the person who Rodrigo is interested in and he's unhappy because she is together with the Moor. As Brabantio is awakened and confused, Iago speaks here using really derogatory animalistic language to say that basically Brabantio's daughter is sleeping with the Moor. We can see here that Iago is extremely racist towards his boss. As Rodrigo reveals to Brabantio that his daughter has eloped with the Moor, it becomes clear to us as viewers that he is jealous because he's romantically interested in Brabantio's daughter. Brabantio at first doesn't believe them and he goes to check his daughter's room and he speaks in this exclamatory sentence to reveal that he's realized his daughter has run away and he's horrified. We can see the theme of prejudice here when Brabantio realizes his daughter is married to an African man. She, he speaks using this exclamatory sentence as well as this rhetorical question to show that he really doesn't want his daughter to be married to a Moor. Rodrigo then offers to help Brabantio by showing him where his daughter and the Moor are.